I have always loved gorillas. <laughs> I have always loved gorillas. Just look at this picture of my husband. <laughs> May not seem as surprising when you see this. I've always been obsessed with them ever since seeing them in a zoo when I was a little girl. They're just so beautiful and when you look into their eyes you feel a soul staring back at you. I mean we share like 95% of the same DNA with them so I guess it would make sense that I'd feel so connected. In college and in my cake life, I've always wanted to draw or sculpt gorillas. I have this gorilla mug that I made in college in ceramics class. And the first ever gorilla cake that I made was in college for a sculpting class. Fast forward from 2015 to 2019, <laughs> I entered the Jersey Shore Cake and Cookie Convention and I wanted to make a sculpted cake. So of course, what did I do? I needed to make a gorilla a holding her baby. So it's a beautiful gorilla mom holding her baby, nice and protective, staring out at the world, emulating that idea of a mother being protective of her baby, thinking about dangers that face gorillas in the world, and you know, all they wanna do is just protect and survive and love. And I'm happy to share that I won. So this was the cake, and that's me. Fast forward to 2021, one of my clients saw this gorilla cake and said, I want that, but I want it to be a male gorilla holding its baby. And I said, challenge accepted. The more gorillas I get to make, the better. And so sculpting the gorilla cake began. I did not film building up this gorilla in cake. So upset about that. I wish I had it on film. What we have here is the whole gorilla sculpted in cake, sealed with a chocolate ganache on the outside. The head is just tin foil taped together. I could make the head out of cake if I wanted to. Don't think I couldn't. But the client just did not need that much cake, so I chose not to in this time. It didn't make a difference. On the one from the Jersey Store cake competition, the head was cake. The judges did say that what they were most impressed of, not only, okay, they said they couldn't find one mistake on it. I'm not trying to gloat. That's just what they said. But they also uh, said that they were so impressed that the whole thing was cake. And here's a picture of that too so I can prove that. <laughs> I don't lie here. I don't lie. So we start with sculpting. So I line up all the proportions first so I know they're correct. And then we start to add detail. And I always start with those eyes, those soulful eyes, the eyes that I dream about that I just want to stare into. I want you to have that feeling when you look at this cake. We're going deep in the detail with this guy. I'm going to make sure to get every single wrinkle, every single one of those wrinkles on this gorilla's face. The more wrinkles, the better. The wrinkles, they show the age, you know, they show the life that this gorilla's lived. And we gotta get that perfect nose, that flat looking nose with those nice large nostrils and that rounded out mouth with that very serious protective um, expression. And that a lot comes from that mouth, especially with that upper lip, the way the upper lip pouts out a little bit, makes it more serious. The face is, to me, the most important part of the whole piece, even though, you know, it's like not even a third, maybe not even a quarter of this whole sculpture, if I don't nail that expression, the whole piece sort of won't come together in the way that I want. I spend probably the most amount of time, like a, cer a certain amount of time on one thing is spent on that face. And then kind of after that, the whole thing flows, especially because I have the whole body mapped out already. And remember, this is the third gorilla that I've ever created. So I've had a lot of experience with gorillas. The first time you create something is always the hardest and then your muscle memory comes into play each time you do it. I'd say I'm a, an experienced gorilla sculptor. If you can say that, I would, I would put that on my resume. I'm a very experienced gorilla sculptor. I'm sculpting the whole face and body out of modeling chocolate. And this is actually a specific recipe that I make uh, on my own, this modeling chocolate, which is a little bit different than what you buy in stores because it's actually a non-dairy modeling chocolate. How many times can I say modeling chocolate? I like it a lot better, especially if we're working with things like a super fine detail because it doesn't melt in your hands as you sculpt with it like the dairy chocolate does. For the back, I made sure to get every little fold and crease there and uh, all those muscles, their backs are super muscular. For the belly and the chest area, I make sure to get those strong muscular pecs. I want him to look tough and powerful, but at the same time, you know, he'll be very gently holding his baby in his arms so you feel that like protectiveness as well. And you'll see as I go, I use what's called 
a Dresden tool, which I find works really well to create that fine detailed fur lines. You know, I'm making a gorilla because they're short haired. The baby, I just build up the few little shapes so like that round shape of the head and then that more rectangular shape for the body. And then I go in and sculpt the further details, bringing out the arm. I'm just gonna have one little baby arm holding on to its dad. And uh, you're just gonna see like the front and the side of the outside of his head. Funny fact, this client requested that he ordered this cake for his uh, birthday and he asked me if the little baby could be holding an Ethereum logo in his hand. Cause you know, I guess he was celebrating a lot of win that year, which he may not be celebrating now. <laughs> The baby's face is a little bit intimidating because it's so tiny, so I have to go in like, you'll see I'm just using my little fine tool to really get those little details. Yeah, teeny, 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 tiny details. The little teeny baby. Looking at pictures of baby gorillas, have you ever like really looked at pictures of baby gorillas? Their cuteness level is out of this world. Let's do a little cute little baby slideshow right here. It reminds me of Benjamin Button, like aging backwards they look like they look like they're like 100 years old when they're born not that they really get that much younger as they grow but um they kind of just like start off looking old and end looking old <laughs> but in the most beautiful and adorable way they're so beautiful remember i said how important that face was to get that expression Almost as equally important, I'd say like number two in importance is getting those hands and those feet. Just the way that they're draping, the way they're gonna be like embracing the baby, the arms, and then the way they fold together and then drape with the legs. It's like the way like my puppy sleeps when she's got all her little back paws and front paws together. Me and my husband like to call it a pile of paws. Aww. So I'm sort of creating that here, but the expression of them, the way they're like entangled and lay, says a lot. He's sitting in a very like comfortable position um, and very like not on guard. I mean, he is on guard the way he's like holding his baby and looking out, but he is in like a restful moment. It's a balance that I think really makes the whole piece really striking. I said I like gorillas. I can really talk about them a lot. <laughs> I went to Kenya a few years ago um, and I did a whole safari with my friend and I really, really wanted to go to Uganda and do trekking in the forest to go see the gorillas because you can go there and like witness the gorillas in their um, natural habitat and just watch them. And it's so insane. My friend, oh, she did it a few years later. I did it, couldn't, didn't work out then. And um, actually, one of the gorillas came up and grabbed her leg and it just held on to her leg for like a few minutes. And the guide said to her, just stand really still. Don't make a movement. And basically, he was just like kind of inserting his dominance over her, like showing her who's in charge, you know? And then she just stood there calmly and then she let go of it. She said it was terrifying but also amazing. I've made my way from the top of this gorilla with his face ending with those feet and arms and now the whole gorilla is complete. I'm, I'm gonna admit I was super proud of, uh, of this gorilla. It was my favorite of all the gorillas I've created and of course I think that was because you know I've had a lot of experience. I, like I said that muscle memory kicks in and you kind of remember how to do things. It's not as challenging the third time around and you can really focus in on more detail and bring out more of that gorilla soul that I that I really wanted to emulate. If you enjoyed watching this, please give it a like and do not forget to subscribe. There's going to be a lot, a lot more projects coming, including um, videos of sculpting, cakes, um, just regular art, food and art. I've got so many things planned. I'm so excited to share it all. If you'd like to join, follow along, please hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see me paint the gorilla and bring it to life, check out my next video where we make all of that happen. And if you enjoy all of this content and want to see more, uh, more in-depth detail, you can join my Patreon where you will receive much longer extended videos where you can see the whole process of me sculpting. And we will also have live streams on there where we talk about projects, answer questions, and uh, make a cocktail with my husband, Gil. And there's just a whole community there that I'm building. You can vote on future projects, get access to courses and even more. Um, so check that out as well, linked below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Please let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.